I was looking down, saw some movement, saw some legs kick, and I went down there and I grabbed him. There's a painted troll right under the ice right there, guys. Let's see if I can get over there. As you can see, this pond is very much frozen as well as all the other ponds that are surrounding it. And I took a scoop in the shade and I just caught the most green and bullfrog tadpoles I've caught in my entire life at once. You guys, holy cow, they're gonna get right back in the water in just a moment, don't worry about them. But, oh my, you guys, like, this is like a hundred of them. That is insanity. Yeah, I'll show you where they were. Look at that, my net is full of them. Let's just bring them on right down back where they were. They're all right here, guys. You can see some moving right there. Watch this, watch this. I'm just gonna put them all back. Look at all of them. Okay, watch. I just scooped two of them without even trying. I'm gonna grab one with my hand. Ugh. Look at that. I just caught one with my hand. These are either green frog or bullfrog tadpoles. Let me know what you guys think, because I have no clue on how to tell the difference, but see if we can maybe scoop up something that's not a tadpole. Alright, here's our net. Let's just take a big old... Oh, see? There's ice right there. Yeah, there's literally some of that is ice. We're gonna kind of scoop where we just let them go, but let's just see how many more we can grab. Oh, they all kind of disappeared. Ugh, there's some in there still. Alright, I'll let you guys know if I catch something different. There's absolutely zero shortage of these tadpoles in this pond. Where you guys go? Take a look at the river, guys. You can pretty much say kayak fishing is done for the year. And I cannot wait for spring to come on in. Alright, it's been maybe 10 minutes and I just got myself a very nice looking square bow crankbait. Take a look at that and there's a little thingy on there. And the hooks actually look pretty decent. I still should be able to use this, so see if we can find any more baits. There's a painted troll right under the ice right there, guys. Let's see if I can get over there. Shoot, you can't really see it anymore. She's buried right under there. That was the first... Oh, he's still moving, he's still moving. That's the first time I've seen a painted turtle under ice, or any turtle under the ice. Ah, shoot. I definitely don't want to go in there to get him. It's cool to see. He's kind of under the moss now. I don't even know if you guys can see that, but that was a painted turtle under the ice. Let's keep on heading on. So I found another open sunny spot and I scooped and look what we got. There's a nice size one. That guy might take a little longer than the other ones. Alright, we're gonna make sure that they get under the ice. As you can see there. Look at them under it. That's insane. I just walked all the way over here thinking I'd have to turn around, but nope, look at that. We're gonna try to catch some fish now. Let's see what they're biting. Take a look at this absolute dreamy spot I just found. There has to be fish here. I was trying to figure out what to use. I started out with top water, but I don't think fish really bite top water when it's cold out, so we're gonna switch to this thing here. This is what I caught my 29 and a half inch northern pike on. First biggest fish of my life. And obviously we got to that 39 incher and that's where we stopped for this year and for my life so we're gonna see if we can get a bigger one but obviously we're just trying to get that skunk off the board so let's try to get her done so i just got snagged on the corner of some ice for 15 to 20 minutes so that was absolutely amazing i think someone lost their duck decoy thought that was real for a second so it's currently november 23rd and i just caught an awesome garter snake this is the second one of fall take a look at that snake Look at the bars on the neck, that is characteristic of the Chicago garter snake, a subspecies of the common garter snake. That is awesome. But in general, it's just a common garter. Look at that beauty. I started off the year with a Chicago just like this, looked kind of more dull, and we're ending it off with one just like it. It's pretty dope, we caught a bunch of tadpoles before. Oh, a lot of tadpoles. And to get one when there's snow on the ground. And as you can hopefully tell, this pond is frozen solid. There's snow right here. Look at that. Look at that. A snake on snow. Did you ever think you'd see it? <laughs> that was pretty dang cool. It's probably the latest I've ever caught a snake. Man. Hardy little garters is what they are here in Wisconsin. 
we'll get him back and we will continue on this might be the last herp of the day and i hope you guys enjoyed this really late fall adventure i definitely enjoyed it i'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching i don't know like all right we caught another herp this is a northern leopard frog i was looking down saw some movement saw some legs kick and i went down there and i grabbed him nice little one doesn't have that many colors or anything so we'll go ahead and get him back but he is not very colorful as you can see it's almost black in the shade he was actually chilling right on the side of that log right there and i saw his pattern and i knew it was a leopard frog so i got him see if we can prop him for a second <laughs> 